Well, hello everyone, Dave Cook with the Franco Painting, and we're doing a test install. So this is uh, a wallpaper that a customer called us about to install, and we're always looking for see how stuff works and that works. So this is the wallpaper that they gave us, um, and it came off of Amazon. It says it's manufactured by York. Um, the paper is 20 and a half inches wide, and this roll is 16 and a half feet, and it has a repeat of 20 inches. So Daniel, we just prepped this wall a little while ago, yesterday actually. So we pulled it off. Uh, this is a peel and stick. Uh, so we're gonna just kind of see how this stuff goes. I don't know if the, I'm just gonna pull it up. You can see how thin that stuff is. The backing is it, it's probably twice as thick as the paper itself. So it's very, very thin. Uh, so we're gonna see how this stuff goes, how the pattern matches, how well it sticks. Uh, we followed the instructions as far as wall prep. Um, so we did that, it was, I think three days ago, one, two, three, three days ago, yeah. So we're gonna get Daniel on here and he is gonna, he's missing. Same place, cabinet prep. So now we gotta find Daniel. Let's see if we can see him outside. He's not there. Where'd he go? He's here. Sorry. Unbelievable. All right. Yeah. Have some paper. Right. So we're gonna see the skills of, of Daniel. I can't think of a good nickname for Daniel. We used to have a guy named Mark, he was Magic Mark. Daniel, I haven't got a good one for Daniel yet. He's too original. Too original. I'm gonna drive him crazy. You can see he's having fun pulling the, the banking up to there. <laughs> Like I said, this stuff is, is stupid thin. So we use to put the stuff up here and there quite a bit, but man, this stuff is a little bit thinner than normal. So we have the laser put up, or he has the laser put up already. We're just, for a test, we're just putting it right at the door. So the lasers are uh, lined where it's gotta be. And then uh, he's kind of booked it, so by booking, we actually take about this much of that paper on the top, peel it back so it has some place to stick on the front. And usually it sticks to the wall, but in this case you can see and hear <laughs> how well it is not sticking. Um, usually that little bit of a lip actually is more than enough to get it to stick. In this case, not so much. So he's got about five, six inches he's pulled off there this time. So again, we're gonna see how this stuff goes on the wall. That's a good thing. That means we don't be straight. So I'm going with how it's laying. Very thin. This is going with the laser. As you'll see. some of the ripples he's doing so depending on the paper the stuff uh, like Daniel saying what well, doesn't stretch so when it's not stretching that's just gonna you can see the ripples bubbles out it's not stretching sometimes it's easier to work with sometimes it's not because it makes it harder to get on there uh, so it kind of makes it the same as where the 20 inch repeat is on the stuff because uh, I don't see how it would repeat with the size of the panel but who knows it's supposed to be a half drop match pattern, that's what they claim it is. Um, overall, it's easy so far. I mean, he hasn't had any disease, he hasn't had any struggles with it. Uh, 
cup work is the worst part, and that was like a couple days ago where we're pole sanding the wall, putting primer up. And we just used a tinted primer, and that's actually what we use right there was the Bono 977 Ultra Prime. Um, so he's going to trim that bottom piece, and then we're going to see how that second piece goes up. And with the paper, this is, a, I think the roll is 16 and a half feet, if memory serves. So we just did not quite eight feet. So we may have enough for two pieces. Um, but with 16 feet and you got a 20 inch repeat, it's going to be, it's going to be tricky. So we'll see how, where the repeat ends up to be on this. He's going to trim off that excess. fun of repeats all right we pause now we're back so it took a while to drop pattern <laughs> and the pattern that we're matching since it's a half drop that means these little what these knots are will alternate on the next sheet like every halfway so if that's there we're coming across it shall be somewhere up in here so this is the one distinctive feature we could find that we're trying to match so that's where we were off just to make sure. It says, actually says in instructions, it helps with two people. So I thought that was kind of funny. Um, I don't need to say that too much. Um, but the instructions on there, I mean, they're decent instructions actually um, for putting stuff on there. Pre cutting the strips definitely helps, but we're just doing to see how it works in general as far as install. So Daniel's going to actually take in a bigger piece off. That way he can see the pattern a little bit better and we take the laser off because we're not concerned about being up and down anymore now we're more concerned about making sure that the pattern matches so as you can see he is lining up that little tiny blue strip so it's in theory they should have just printed this so that way that dark that dark blue line that he's kind of has his hands on so where he's running his hand now, they should have printed it so that that black line was the edge instead of overlapping it by an eighth of an inch. Makes it uh, fun. Um, so I'm going to finish putting this piece up and we're going to actually see how well it stays on the wall and how fast or how good it comes off. paper you could probably actually install vertically also if you had enough uh, so this is like a 16 feet like so we're not even at seven so if you had to do if you were counting on an eight foot wall you would not get two strips out of this um, sadly so kind of keep that in mind the, uh, square footage on the wrapper says total square foot it doesn't actually say how much you can actually get so keep that in mind you're ordering when you're ordering enough how it goes like I said, if we've been if we've been up another foot, we wouldn't have enough to mat get this whole piece down in there. Um, overall, it actually went on pretty decent. Some of that self stick stuff is <laughs> brutal. We installed one in Chicago last week that they got from uh, some cooking place, Crate and Barrel. Uh, so we ordered one of them to do a test install here because that stuff was absolutely horrible. It kept bubbling. No matter what we did, it bubbled. Uh, but this it's going on actually really decent. Uh, for as thin as it is, yeah, I'm really impressed. Because uh, usually the thinner, it'll, as you're pulling down, the pieces will start snapping off the sides of it. Um, so once he puts us on there, we'll take a look, see how the seam looks, feel it on the wall, and then we'll do a strip stripping and we'll pull it off and we'll see how it pulls off the wall 
if it leaves any residue or anything like that too. So that's always a good indication of how it works. Actually went pretty good. Uh, you can feel a little bit of a lip on some of it, or it didn't quite make it flat, but overall pretty good. Want to strip it? Yeah. Let's see how it strips. It's supposed to be repositionable. Well, you can see how easy that's falling off the wall. <laughs> A lot easier than you think. Yeah. So, I don't know, good and bad. If you got kids in a house, or if you got animals in a house, that may peel off really, really easy. Um, I did not see any instructions on this one. Uh, pulling easy really doesn't talk a lot about the uh, wall prep. A lot of the peeling sticks, it'll say you need to have like. Uh, Eggshell paint. This one does not. It just says newly painted services must cure for a minimum of four weeks for applying. Uh, we used that Roman Ultra Prime and Guards. That stuff dries really fast, uh, so I wasn't too worried about it. But some of them will actually tell you on here that um, you have to have eggshell paint, and along with the eggshell paint, that in order to get it to stick, you have to wash the wall with denatured alcohol, which I would never recommend to anyone to wash your wall with denatured alcohol. If you have any open flames, kapoof. Anyway, so there's the uh, kind of instructions on it. A um, couple different languages. And again, it was roommates and we just got it off Amazon because a customer was installing it. So actually went on better than I thought. So I'll give it a thumbs up. Yeah, Daniel? I'll say so too. All right. So there you go. Two thumbs up. <laughs> if you guys got questions about wallpaper in general, give us a call to Franco Painting and Wallpaper. We're here to help you love the space you're in.